You're good. Hey, good morning, gang. Welcome to Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures. And uh, well, today we pulled the boat. Um, it's been in the berth since uh, April 2021, so somewhere around eight months or so. And uh, this morning is what now, mid January, just about. Amazing how time is flying. But, anyways, just wanted to kind of give you a shot of the boat out of the water. And I, I wanted to show how much growth, especially on this transom, how much just happens to grow on these things over a period of just eight months. Um, I don't know if you can get a shot, but the zincs in here are completely just worn away. Um, so, I mean, in eight months, I mean, they're pretty much almost gone. Um, even the ones here on the out drive, these things, I mean, you can see all the pitting and everything. So that's how crucial it is to replace these things, especially if your boat stays out of berth. Um, these things will rot away really quick and, and they're meant to, that's what they're supposed to. These are called sacrificial metals. And uh, it's so that the outdrive, because the outdrive on this is aluminum. So anyways, uh, just wanted to give a little info on that. But really what we've got going on that I wanted to talk about since we're here and it's a, there's a little bit more room to kind of walk around is first thing is we're gonna get it home and I'm gonna power wash this thing get it all cleaned up over the next couple of days and then all this old decal up here of the striper is going to get removed and we have brand new bald eagle decals with uh, the bald eagle fishing adventures decals that are going to go on here with the YouTube logo and it's going to be you know pretty much sprawled out over this entire side uh, and the other side as well so after this thing's all cleaned up, I'm going to buff the whole boat and then we're going to start putting the decals on. I'll take you guys through each segment as we go um, so you can kind of see how it's done. And I wanted to make a quick note that the application of these decals, you can do this on cars, um, pretty much anything that you want to put on, obviously boats. So, and I will have the information and a link uh, of where I purchased these decals from and they are absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you see them. Anyways, and they have a ton of decals, different sizes, different logos, different everything. So anyways, that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you as soon as this thing's all cleaned up and we're ready to start uh, polishing it. Gang, well, I just wanted to uh, show you what this thing looks like now all power washed up. Uh, you can see it cleaned up really nice. Um, got everything cleaned up. Well, you can really see now how the zincs are just corroded away, but they're going to get replaced. They, I replace them every year, but I got everything power washed on the boat, all down the sides, uh, just getting things ready for the uh, new decals and logos to go on, cleaned the underside, and like I said, power washed everything as much as possible. So I wanted to go over with you guys. Uh, so yesterday I removed the decals off of here and uh, they came off pretty decent uh, so they're very old I'm leaving the sea swirl one on back here this is not going to be in my way uh, basically what I was using it to uh, remove these old decals was a uh, it's a 3m stripe remover and I'll put a link on that um, these quick little example I mean I just have this on a cordless drill. This drill was 29 bucks at uh, Harbor Freight. And um, anyway, just peels it off. That's about it. And then it leaves, you know, a little residue. Um, you know, you can either, I used a little uh, goo gone. G O O gone. It's called Goo Gone, and uh, that helps remove any little bit of glue or something there. But you can see the idea of it. It's going to take you a little bit of time if you have a, a certain size decal that you got to get off, but they work good. Think so. I wanted to kind of give you an update here. Um, I hope you get to see kind of like the reflection of those containers, those yellow containers over here. But I polished from about here. I compounded back that way and um, I even did the rub rail uh, and it actually looks better it's not perfect but I mean this is kind of the way the old look of it right here and then you can actually see there's some gloss to it now so this poor old girl I mean she's a this boat's a 2003 and um, I'm sure this is the first time it's ever seen a polisher so anyways 
Um, there's got some nice reflection and shine to it again. So uh, I'm really happy about that. I mean, it, anything is better than the way it was, right? So I hope you guys can kind of get an idea of the how it looks, some of the nice shine to the to the body now, to this gel coat. And, you know, this is obviously I still got all this polishing to do here. But from about here back, this took me about 20 minutes, 20, maybe 30 minutes, because I did it with compound. I did it with this Meguiar's here and the machine. And then I went over with the, um, uh, I believe that is, this is the other just standard marine polish. Um, or a wool pad polish. Yeah, 3M, 3M machine polish. So perfect it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have links on this stuff, but uh, I went over with this polish and the buffing pad uh, after I did the compound. And then I used uh, this stuff just by hand. This is just kind of a glaze. Um, it's not a sealant or a wax. It's just a glaze. It just kind of cleans off the polish and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not well it's 1 30 and I started this project at uh, 10 a.m. so three and a half hours into this thing and it is finished I polished the whole side all the way up I hope you guys are able to pick up some some uh, of the shine on this thing I mean it it looks pretty damn good it's not perfect but for as bad as this thing was it's it's got some decent shine to it now so anyways uh, it's got a pretty good reflection here. Hopefully you guys are seeing all that, but I, this thing had no reflection before at all. And uh, it's nice and smooth. The only disappointment that I have is you can still see some of the uh, striper uh, decal that was on here, the old stuff. Um, I, you know, it just must have just uh, kind of faded uh, uh, or tainted the, the gel coat to some degree. Maybe over time it will bleach out. I don't know. But uh, most of the, the new decal stuff that's going to go on here is going to cover a lot of that. So I'm not extremely worried about it. I, well, today is put the decals on. So anyways, you can kind of see uh, what we're looking at here. That's going to be the new decal for the bald eagle. And um, anyways, I've got it kind of just taped in place right now. This is kind of how you want to do it to kind of get things where you think you want everything to kind of line up and we're getting ready to uh, get this decal put in place and what I have here is a product called right on and this is for when you are um, putting on decals especially large decals pinstripes you wouldn't worry about it but if you're putting on large decals where you might have to pull it back off and put it back on this is a great product um, and uh, you can, um, I, I will put a link for this as well. Uh, it's a great uh, little soapy solution and you're going to need a squeegee. So anyways, we'll get started here. And you just spray a film over this area like so. Just get it nice and wet there. And then... We start the unrolling and this just peels off really nice so, peel it down and what you don't want to do is have this fold back on itself that would be a bad deal so I'm gonna kind of just want this to roll That's a little bit of a pain to get started here. But. So just like this, pull it back. Maybe we kind of just want this to fold back like so. And this, we're going to put it right there for right now. Keep rolling this one back like so. And... Kind of get this started like so. Okay. So 
and again, we're probably going to be um, pulling and kind of moving it around a little bit. That's why you want this soapy solution on here. So let's put that there. Take this one off. Like so. Another thing you want to do is just shoot some slope soapy solution down inside there, like that. Just want to make sure that if you can, with this nice solution, as you can pull it back off. If you don't use this soapy solution, then you're you could have problems trying to get the decal back off. So. Then we'll pull this. Let's see. Pull it right up to about there. And pull that tight. Now we'll take the squeegee and we'll start. I don't want to get right up on there, but I want to kind of. We might have to pull this again. So I'm just gonna kind of roll this very gentle up through here. Okay. So just kind of holding that in place for right now. And that's okay if there's some little bubbles right here because we can kind of pull this back out but this back end is pretty much right where we want it so now we're just kind of looking down making sure that we're kind of skimming this all in place just like so that's looking beautiful okay so there's that now same thing here again we're gonna take this one loose just like that and we're gonna put that over here hold that a little bit and we're gonna shoot some stuff down the side here Gently, very gently. I'm kind of thinking at this point, we're going to go ahead and pull this off of here. And let's take this one off of here too. Like so. Actually, pull this back out a little bit. 
And let's go ahead and just spray this whole thing all the way up and around. And I will tell you, you'll want to do something like this on a day that there's no wind. Because uh, wind could be a really bad situation right now. So, here's a little bubble right back here. I want to pull that out a little bit. Okay. And I want to kind of... I'll probably want to work this a little bit. Yeah, something like that. And I might still need to, but now we just kind of want to work this stuff up like so. Everything's gentle, gentle, gentle. Just like so. Take this one. Let's just run that just kind of like that. And this one too. Just kind of like that. Hmm? Easy but easy. Oh, there's a little. Might have to. It's a little. That's going to have to come back out. That's why this wet solution is so nice, because it just gives you that time to kind of make things as good as you can possibly get them. And the biggest thing is just have patience. Don't panic. Just take your time. Now we just got to work out little bubbles that are here. And this is just now in the point of just squeegeeing down. Kind of hope you guys are getting all of this. But if uh, you've never done anything like this before, it might not hurt to um, see if you can actually get somebody to help you that maybe has have some experience in this um, so you just want to work you can actually hear the little bubbles that I'm squeegeeing out right now and you just take your time take your time like I said you just keep working it and working it and uh, eventually all the bubbles are out of it and uh, it'll take uh, probably about four or five hours for this to really kind of dry and whatnot maybe a little longer um, depending if there's any sun out and that's another thing too is I'm doing this in in some shade so you'll definitely it's a nice cool temperature it's about 45 50 degrees right now and um, no sun beating on me so make yourself comfortable if you're gonna do especially something this of this size so anyways that's about it guys you just kind of keep working it well it's all done on this side we're finished we got the bald eagle fishing adventures Got the logo, the full decal, so there you go. That's what she looks like. Now we'll be doing the other side here shortly. Anyways, I think that's a nice little upgrade to the boat. Got the uh, fishing channel on there. So, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. All right, guys. Well, listen, hey, thanks for checking out one another, one of my videos, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be doing some other upgrades to the boat here shortly, um, and I'll uh, show you what those are going to be here when uh, we get started with that. Anyways, thanks for watching again. Take care.